So welcome back. Hopefully you had a good time having those droid races. Remember, it's all in good fun, so don't take it too seriously if you didn't win. And if you did win, then pat yourself on the back, all right? So again, just an opportunity for you guys to kind of uh, use the skills that you've learned over the past two sessions to drive this Freo Mini to actually have a little uh, fun competition amongst yourselves. But now we're gonna move into actually programming our droids. So we learned about what a droid is, we learned how they worked from a mechanical standpoint, and then we also learned what programming is. Remember we said programming was instructions, right? And so what we're gonna do now is learn how to give instructions to our droids or our Sphero Minis. And so in order to do that, we're gonna actually use the same app we've been using to drive our Sphero Minis. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to do to actually program our Sphero Minis. Okay, so how do we program our Sphero Minis? Let's take a look at this Sphero EDU app. So when we open up the app, remember we have all of, we have the home page here, but then on the bottom here, we have programs, we have activities and drive. Now in the last session, uh, when we we're learning the drive serial mini, we used the drive over here on the bottom right. But now we're gonna go to the program section, right? Second from the left, right here. So I'll click that. Um, and then we wanna create a new program, right? This is where the programs are stored. So to create a new program, we click the plus sign here in the lower right, all right? So we'll click that. And it'll say, we can give it a name, let's just say uh, Obstacle Course. All right, uh, we wanna use the blocks, which is there in the middle. Okay, then you choose your robot, okay? And we have this Freo Mini here is already selected. But you can select, uh, if you had the BB-8 or the R2-D2 or the Ollie, you can select that, okay? so. We'll deselect these here and then we'll go to create. All right, so the way it works is here on the bottom, you see you got movements, right? And you have all the blocks that you need to make your Sphero Mini move, okay? You have the lights where you can control the lights. You have sounds, okay? And I'm clicking on these and you have control. And this is where you get like your delay or if then and, and those are things that you can, you can tinker with on your own operators which are um, where we start to do some mathematics some comparators here some logic if you have sensors as well these are all things that a little bit more on the um, more complicated end that we won't get into in this lab okay so the main things we want to focus on are the movements tab and then the controls tab okay so movements all right so Let's pull this one, and it's really just drag and drop. So you grab it with your finger, pull it out onto the canvas, and you set it, and it'll snap into place right there, okay? So the way that this works is when you press start up here, the green start button, it'll run through this program step by step, okay? And as you can see, it says on start program. That means once you press start, it'll run through these program steps here, okay? so. The first one it'll do is roll at how many degrees. And then this is, and again, you don't have to know what degrees are. If you haven't gotten that far yet in your own mathematics class, you can just use the arrow here, okay? So this is 90 degrees, all right? Or if you have zero degrees, that means straight forward, okay? And then a right turn, a hundred, uh, 90 degree right turn right there, okay? So we'll mainly focus on driving straight right turns and maybe an 180 degree turns, okay? So let's say we wanna go straight, okay? Um, at what speed you can go from zero to 255, all right? And you can go backwards if you want, or you can go forward. We'll probably always wanna keep it at forward. It's just a little bit, especially if we have our, our, our uh, degrees set at zero. And then how long do we wanna go in that direction and at that speed, okay? So let's say two seconds, okay? We don't wanna use any large numbers because then it won't stop. Like if you do like 30 seconds or or more, uh, then your robot will just run, run, and run. And, and if it hits a wall or something like that, it won't stop, all right? So we're gonna probably stick around less than five seconds, all right, with, with ours. And then, this is just a tip, keep this in mind, we're gonna go to the controls tab down here on the bottom and we're gonna grab a delay. So what that does is after it runs through the roll, it'll stop for one second. That's what we're programming it to do. 
The reason we do that, it just makes the robot run more predictably, meaning that you can kind of tell what it's gonna do. If you don't put any delays in, then you get some things that are unexpected happening, okay? So uh, this is just a tip. Make sure you put a delay of at least one second in between each command, all right? Um, so let's go back down to the bottom here. You can change, again, you can change the lights if you want to, just for fun. So let's say we wanna change the light there. Uh, we'll click on that and then we can change the color in here, okay? That'll change the light. On this Ferro Mini, you can change the brightness of it as well, okay? Uh, you don't need that, but the main thing we're gonna really focus on are the uh, roll, is the roll, okay? So let's add another roll here. Let's say on this next movement, because these are different movements, we wanna go to the right at a speed, or at a uh, yeah speed of, you know, let's say 255 for one second, okay? And so what'll happen is when we press start, it'll connect to our Sphero Mini and it'll run through these program steps that you see here on the left, okay? Other thing, if we wanna aim it, like we've shown on how to drive it, you just click the aim button. We wanna make sure that we set that before we run our program, okay? Because remember, if, if you're driving it, if you aimed it properly, then it moves in the direction that you want it to go, okay? And so once you press start, again, and now it's looking for Sphero Mini to connect to, you click, click on the Sphero Mini, and then you'll be able to run through your program, all right? And so there you go. Hopefully that gave you a good idea on how to use the app to actually program your Sphero Mini. Now, when you're programming, there's a lot of trial and error, meaning that you try something, and maybe if he didn't go, your Sphero Mini didn't go as far as you wanted it to, then maybe you have to change either the, the distance or the power or the time that it's rolling. So always play around with those, and that's the fun part of it. And so coaches, go ahead, if the kids don't already have their Sphero Minis and Amazon Fire Tabs, go ahead and pass those back out. Um, give one Sphero Mini and one uh, Fire Tab to each group. Go ahead and have them open up the app, connect to their Sphero Mini, and then actually uh, just tour around with some of the programs in there, some of the controls. And so later when we come back, we're actually gonna have a programming challenge, this time with the Sphero Minis. And so coaches, Give them about 15 to 20 minutes to actually play around with the Sphero Minis. Make sure they're not just driving, but that they're using the programming piece of the app to get familiar with the different commands that they can use for programming the Sphero Mini. And then after that, come back and play the next video.